How to be a pirate in Minecraft with absolutely no mods. Arrgh, matey! So, I heard that you thirst for a taste of the high seas, eh? You want to spice up your typical Minecraft gameplay a bit and go for a seafaring, treasure hunt, and village plunder adventure? Bored with your typical Minecraft playthrough and want a new, more difficult way to play? Well then, you've come to the right place, because I'm about to show you seven ways how to play as a pirate in Minecraft using only vanilla game mechanics. And if you end up liking this video, why not be a real matey and consider subscribing? And if you don't feel like subscribing, well then, that's just as well. Instead, perhaps you could leave a comment so that all YouTube will recommend this video to more people across the high seas. It takes but a moment of your time and would be indebted forever to ye if you did so. Okay, that's enough of the pirate voice. I'm sure you're as tired of listening to it as I am speaking in it, so let's get started. Number 1. Pirate Ships What good is a pirate without their ship? Well, if you're Captain Jack Sparrow, apparently still pretty good, but as far as Minecraft goes, you have a few options. Building a ship is probably the most fun option. You can customize it to your liking, add redstone TNT cannons to it, have plenty of storage, sleeping quarters, jail cells to keep prisoners, I mean villagers, what's not to love? You can build this in creative ahead of time, or make it one of your own in-game goals to gather enough materials to build your own boat. And by gather, I mean steal. The only problem is that building a ship in Minecraft means that it's a bit stationary. If you wanted to go ashore, you'd probably have to take out a rowboat, aka a normal Minecraft boat. There's also the option of turning your custom-built boat into a mobile vessel using some sort of custom boats mod. But that sort of defeats the purpose of this being a no mods tutorial now, wouldn't it? Still, it is an option. If you're willing to wait until the 1.19 update, boats with chests would make a perfectly worthy seafaring vessel, if a little small and limited. Before then, normal Minecraft boats on their own would also work just fine, although your carrying capacity would be severely limited. You could of course remedy this by carrying around a llama with you everywhere you went instead. However, that's why if you choose to go with one of these few options, I suggest that you also build a base of some kind, as described in the next step. Number 2. Bases A pirate has a few options for bases in which to store their treasure. With the recent Caves and Cliffs update, a treasure cave is an excellent idea. Find a place where a wide open cave underneath the cliff side opens up to the water, anchor your boat nearby, and build up your stash inside. This one's a great idea for those who aren't necessarily the greatest builders because, well, it's practically already built for you. You could also choose to start on a deserted island seed if you want a more difficult start to your pirate life, forcing yourself to harvest the materials on your starting island in order to build a boat and gather food before you can head out in the open ocean. Then afterwards, you can continue to return to the island and build a base of some kind there. If you choose this option, you could also abandon the base idea entirely and only choose to stash your treasure on this deserted island, underneath a giant red X that marks a spot, of course. This is an especially fun idea to utilize on multiplayer servers, which we will get to a bit later on in the video, so stick around if that interests you. Another option is to build a village along the water in creative ahead of time, or just commandeer a pre-generated village if that's your style, and have that as a place that you can return to. Think of it as your very own Tortuga, a hive of scum and villainy where anything goes. Again, this is another idea that works well in multiplayer because it could end up as a trading hub for players to meet at. Your final option for your base is to simply not have a base at all. If you aren't focused on collecting treasure and want a bit of an extra challenge, simply travel only by boat and only get resources from the places you pillage and plunder. If you're someone who just likes to destroy every village you come across and take no survivors, this is the option for you. And that brings me to my third point, which is number three, pillaging and plundering. The pirate lifestyle is all about taking from others, and so as a rule, if you want to play as a pirate, you must steal from every village, temple, shipwreck, and other structure you come across. Following every treasure map you find is also a must. In fact, your goal should be to seek out and obtain as much treasure as possible. Now, if you're looking for a more violent option, you could also kill and burn the homes of every villager you come across. 
I know some of you already play Minecraft like this, so this won't be much of a challenge. Additionally, should you ever obtain the Bad Omen effect, going into villages, starting raids, and leaving them all to die to marauders would be a very piratey thing to do. Think of it like the beginning of the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie where the skeleton pirates are attacking. Of course, if you want to be a non-violent pirate, by all means, be my guest. I can't make you kill people. Regardless though, stealing should be your main, if not your only way, of getting resources. What, you think a pirate has time to go mining for diamonds? No, they're just gonna steal them from whatever treasure chest they can find. Resource grinding of any kind should be prohibited if you're playing as a pirate. And if you want an extra challenge, you can even limit yourself to only getting things like wood or stone from villages and structures as well. Number 4. Pets. A good pirate needs a pet parrot to sarcastically banter with along their journeys. Either swam one in when you start the game, or make it a personal goal to find one. Some pirates may also choose to collect or steal exotic animals. Find a pink sheep or a brown panda along your journey? Well then, take it back to your treasure cave or display it aboard your ship if you'd like. It's important to remember that you can choose what's valuable to you in your world. Sure, gold and diamonds are the standard in normal games of Minecraft, but you could choose to prioritize anything from prismarine crystals and sponges to music discs and mob heads. Number 5. Weapons and Armor Your pirate should really only need two weapons, a sword and a gun. Swords are ubiquitous in Minecraft, but what about guns? Well, since Minecraft doesn't have any vanilla firearms, your pirate should use a crossbow loaded with firework rockets. If you're a Technoblade fan, then you know just how much damage these bad boys can do. And sugarcane and gunpowder are materials that are pretty easy to come by. An axe is also usable if you prefer. As for armor, if you want a challenge, no armor or only leather armor is what I would recommend. Otherwise, just wear whatever you're able to steal, same as any other resource. Enchanting is also up to you. If you want an enchantment table as part of your treasures, sure, go for it. But if you're strict about the roleplay aspect of this, chances are your pirate probably won't be engaging in any magic. Number 6. Food A pirate is constantly traveling on long journeys, so your Minecraft pirate should prioritize foods that won't spoil on the high seas. So this means no meat or bread, but things like carrots, potatoes, apples, and stews would work just fine. If you want a more silly option, keep a mushroom below decks on your ship and name it Cook to have a renewable food source on your ship without farming. Number 7. Multiplayer Options Now comes the really fun part. Being a pirate all on your own in a single player world is all fine and good, but it's bound to get boring eventually. So what are some ways you can be a pirate on an SMP? Firstly, getting a group of friends together to all be a pirate crew is a must. Assign people to be captain, first mate, cook, lookout, swashbucklers, etc. And work together to pillage and plunder as much as possible. For larger servers, get several different pirate crews together and make it a competition between each of them. So you can get the most treasure, sabotage each other, have fights where you fire at each other from your ships, and just have fun with it. For another fun challenge, have each person be their own individual pirate, but play in hardcore mode. Have each person hide their treasure in a different spot on the map marked with an X, and have everyone carry with them a map that leads to their own treasures. That way, you'll get some PvP action and have an extra bounty of booty to discover. The ways to play as a pirate in Minecraft are many, and all of them are suitable for a variety of different playstyles. If you have any ideas to add to this, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear them. Also, be sure to check out the first video in this series, How to Be a Wizard in Minecraft, if you're looking for more fun alternate gameplay ideas. That's all for now. I'll see you scallywags on the high seas. Rah! Like and subscribe!